what's going on? So yesterday I spent a lot of time in the garden weeding it, and let's see some of the progress that I made. I should also tell you, I didn't weed it all, all by myself. My mom came and helped, and so that was really nice of her to come by and give a hand in all of her wisdom. Here we have the peas. Peas are doing pretty good. Moving right up the fence that I had planned for them to move up. Yeah, so they're, they're all loving life right here. The peas are doing good. So that makes me happy. And down this row, we have more peas on the other side. On this row right here, was supposed to be peas, but for some reason a lot of stuff didn't grow. So I went and planted some spaghetti squash in these rows with the with the peas and the beans are on the other side. We'll get to that in a second. But I just planted some spaghetti squash around around here. Oh look, here's another weed. I'm pull these bitches out. There we go. So some of the peas decided to go, some decided not to. But I'm glad to say that my Spaghetti squash is moving right along, so that makes me happy. And my favorite, the pole beans. One of the reasons why we, I put up these fences were for the pole beans, because I love pole beans. They're just really good. I'm going to try to can them this year. And look how tall this guy is, this pole bean right here. That's pretty awesome. I think it's pretty cool that how high they can get. So I got the kind, the variety that can get up to at least eight feet high, so that's good. Wow, look at this one. Getting way up there. But yeah, pole beans are doing really good on this side right here. So that makes me happy. And then if we go back down, look at this guy. This pole bean right here. This, 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 this little guy. Got more pole beans on this side right there. And then this is where my cucumbers are. Not really sure if they're taking off as quickly as they should be. But I have some, I mean, if I, get, if I even get one cucumber at this point, I'll be happy. Just because I have never had good luck with cucumbers. Never had good luck. So if I even get one this year, I'll be happy. So, so there's that. And then these are bush beans right here. Bush beans are going pretty good. I watered them so they look a little flat. But it's all right. They're all doing pretty good. And then right here, all the way down, we have zucchini. So zucchini is coming in pretty good. For some reason on the edges of my garden, the stuff isn't growing very well. So if you have any tips or anything, let me, let me know. But yeah, like on the edges, like the stuff doesn't grow very good. I don't know if it's just because it's not as nutrient dense or what, but the stuff in the middle always seems to do really well. You know, with the stuff on the edges, like even over here, with a little tiny bean, you know, and I got little tiny peas on the other side over there, but little tiny bean, little tiny peas over there. But yeah, <clears throat> if you have any idea, let me know. And then this mess, don't worry about that mess. This is where my corn is. I got some peas. Uh, every stick represents a, a row here. So right here, there's supposed to be peas in there. Then we got corn, and the corn is actually doing pretty good. I got to get down here and weed these, and I will eventually. Um, I started to a little bit. I was weed whacking around, and then I ran out of uh, the line. So that was fun. But I got a bunch of peas, and these peas are actually doing pretty good here in the wild. Like, like you know, they're grabbing onto their own. I just just like, oh, let's throw some peas in, and they're just grabbing onto weeds and doing their own thing. But I'm going to come out here and weed Maybe tonight or tomorrow and get my corn all good. As you can see, I got corn growing up. And this guy right here, this is the tallest corn I've gotten this this early this early in the season. This guy right here. This is my pride and joy right here. This this guy. So you have big plans. You have you have big expectations for you. But yeah. So my corn right there. Uh oops, did I step on him? Oh no, those are Peas. Whoops. So, and then, like I said, over here, more corn. But the corn on the outside is never has never really taken off. This is where I plant it year after year. This, you know, it doesn't really take off very well, and that's okay. You know, 
another corn, another corn, another corn, corn, this corn. It's going pretty good over here and stuff. So, yeah. And this is my above ground box right here. I just have one, maybe next year I'll invest and get rid of those chairs and invest out have more above ground because the stuff above ground is really taking off and i guarantee it's because of like how warm it, that box gets this is romaine right here three rows of carrots and yes i did just water that's why the carrots look all disheveled and sort of these front romaine lettuce as well but anyway yeah and i weeded that stuff last night and these right here are purple beans and then this is, I think, more spaghetti squash right here. But I planted this way earlier than the other stuff over there. So, um, more more spaghetti squash. I'm looking really looking forward to the squash this year. And here's a funny story. I spilled some beans, some bean plants, or bean seeds. And I have had some cardboard down there trying to kill some weeds. And this little guy is just taking off. Pretty awesome. Makes, makes me laugh. A little opportunistic bean. So yeah, it's fun. So yeah, that's the uh, garden. Hopefully uh, you all enjoyed it. I'll give you one more view of the garden here. Still room for expansion, but as you can see, I kind of let it go, especially on the far end over there, but everything seems to be doing pretty good. I'm hopefully gonna be having some produce here pretty soon. And here we have different types of lettuce, stuff that we can use that I can eat during the summer, which is fun. I really like this stuff because it has like a nutty flavor to it. It's really good. And then this stuff is just lettuce. And then this is romaine that I tried in a, in a box this year. I have to say it's turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching.